Good afternoon, grade 9. I hope uh, you are all doing well. Our lesson today is uh, talking about equations with fractional coefficients. We're going to open page 117 in our book. We're going to start an example how to answer an equation which has fractional coefficients. As we can see in number 1, we have w over 2 plus w over 3 equal 5 over 3. In this example, we understand that we cannot add or subtract any fraction unless we fix the denominators first. So the common denominator here for 2 and 3, the common denominator will be 6. So to fix all the denominators, for example, this denominator 2, to fix it to be 6, we have to multiply by 3. But when I multiply the denominator by 3, I have to multiply the numerator also by 3. It will be 3 times w, it will be 3w over 6, plus the second fraction to fix it to be over 6, we have to multiply 3 times 2, so So 5 times 2 is 10, 3 times 2 is 6. Now I am ready to work because I have all the denominators are the same, so I don't have any problem to add or subtract fractions. So 3w plus 2w equals 5w over 6 equals 10 over 6. This is the equation. To answer a fractional equation like this, we have to use the strategy of cross multiplication. So 6 times 10, 60, equal 30w, because 5 times w times 6 is 30w, equal 6 times 10, 60. So we have now 30w equal 60. And I need to find the value of w. So we're going to, uh, to divide both sides by 30. So divided by 30, just to, they will go together and then w equals 60 divided by 30 will be 2. So w equals 2. <clears throat> Moving to the next question, number 2. We have here subtracting fractions. x over 3 minus x over 4 equals 1 over 12. Again, I'm repeating, we cannot add or subtract fraction unless we fix the denominators. So for the denominators 3 and 4, the common denominator will be 12. So to fix this to be 12, so we have to multiply by 4. But don't forget, if we multiply by 4, I have to multiply also the numerator by 4. So x times 4 will be 4x over 12 minus... Here, to fix this denominator to be 12, we have to multiply both numerators and denominators by 3. So, x times 3 will be 3x, and 4 times 3 will be 12. And concerning 1 over 12, we don't have to do anything with it because it's already fixed. So, we don't have to do anything with it. So, 4x minus 3x over 12 equal 1 out of 12. 4x minus 3x, it will be x over 12 equals 1 over 12. Cross multiplication, so x times 12 will be 12x and equals 12 times 1 will be 12. So 12x equal 12, we're gonna divide both by 12, so this will go with this and then x equal 12 divided by 12 which is 1, so x equals 1. Moving to the next exercise, number 10, we have 2x over 3 minus 5x over 9 equals negative 1. The denominators here 3 and 9, so the common denominator for both will be 9. 
So only the fraction which I need to fix it's the first one. To fix the first one, I have to multiply the denominator and the numerator by 3. The denominator, 3 times 3, just to be 9. And 2x times 3, it will be 6x. Now I have, after fixing 6x over 9, minus 5x over 9 stays the same. And then equals negative 1, it means negative 9 over 9. And then 6x minus 5x, it will be 1x, which is represented as x here, over 9, equals negative 9 over 9. And then cross-multiplication. So negative, this is will be positive 9, sorry. So x times 9 will be 9x, 9x equals negative 81. So we're going to divide both by 9, divided by 9, divided by 9. So the answer will be negative 9. So x equals negative 9. Next exercise, next example, number 16, number 14. 6b over 7 minus b over 2 equals 5. We have the denominators here 7 and 2, so the common denominator between two numbers for two numbers is 14. So to fix the first fraction into 14, the denominator to be, to be 14, so we have to multiply both numerators and denominators by 2. So when I multiply this by 2, it will be 12b and 7 times 2, 14, minus. Here, to fix this one to be 17, to be 14, we have to multiply it by 7, so 2 times 7, 14, and b times 7, it will be 7b, equals, and this is 5, 5 means 5 over 1, so to fix 1 to be 14, we have to multiply it by 14, so 1 times 14, 14, 5 times 14 will be 70. So my new equation will be 12b over 14 minus 7b over 14 equals 70 over 14. We're going to subtract. 12b minus 7b is 5b over 14 equals 70 over 14. Cross multiplication. This times this equals this times this. So 5b times 14 will be 70b equals 14 times 70, which is 980. Just to get the value of b, so we have to divide both sides by 70. So 70 divided by 70, it's b, and 980 divided by 70, it's 14. So the value of b is 14. The last example, Number 18, in the same page, we have 5x over 6 minus 3x over 8 equals 11 over 2. We have the denominators 6, 8, and 2. The common denominators for all of them will be 24. To fix this denominator, 6, we have to multiply it by 4 to be 24. So don't forget that we have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 4. So 5x times 4 will be 20x. 6 times 4 will be 24. Minus, to fix 8 to be 24, we have to multiply by 3. And don't forget also to multiply both numerator and denominator by 3. So 3x times 3 will be 9x. 8 times 3 will be 24 equals to fix 2 to be 24, we have to multiply by 12. 11 times 12 will be 132. 2 times 12 will be 24. Now I am ready. I have 20x over 24 minus 9x over 24 equals 132 over 24. 20x minus 9x will be 11x over 24 equals 132 over 24. Cross multiplication, so 11x times 24 
equals 264x equals 132 times 24, which is 3,168. So now I have 264x equals 3,168. We're going to divide both, uh, both by 264 just to get the value of x. So 264 divided by 264, so it's x. This will go with this, so x equals 3,168 divided by 264 will be 12. So x equals 12. So that's it for today. We have to practice the rest of the exercises, page 117, and that's it. Thank you and good luck.